study, I should say, finds high levels of harmful chemicals in Pittsburgh's rivers. The so-called forever chemicals called PFAS are linked to cancers and other serious health conditions. Jessica, excuse me, Alexandra Todd got a hold of the findings and spoke with the people studying where the contaminants are the worst. Alexandra. That's right, Ken. These forever chemicals are contaminating our rivers and flowing through our faucets. Researchers are trying to figure out a way to stop them. The nonprofit Women for a Healthy Environment tested the water of three Allegheny County wastewater treatment plants. They found startling PFAS levels much higher near the plant's discharge site than other parts of the river. This confirmed that wastewater treatment plants are a, are a source of contamination, PFAS contamination, because they don't have the mechanisms by which to filter out the PFAS chemicals. The nonprofit raises awareness about PFAS that have been used for decades to make waterproof products and non-stick ones like fast food packaging. PFAS are linked to severe health effects like cancer, thyroid disease, and liver damage. They can also cause reproductive health problems and child development issues. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has safety guidelines for PFAS levels, but there are no federal laws that need to be followed. Wastewater treatment plants have very specific things that they are filtering out and filtering mm -hmm. for. And, okay. and so PFAS um, is not necessarily one of those chemicals that already that there's a mechanism in place. Pennsylvania does not have any state laws governing PFAS, but other states are moving to find them and restrict them. Michigan is a good example. Uh, they have testing and monitoring uh, and reporting requirements. And so we think that that's a good model, uh, frankly, that Pennsylvania should be adopting and and putting into practice. The nonprofit believes the state needs to change its policy around testing for PFAS and deal with this developing problem with real action. I think we all can take simple steps um, to reduce our exposure and then advocate for and, and use our voices for some of the things that we need at both the state and federal level. And researchers are saying that these chemicals are extra worrisome because you can't see, smell, or taste them. Now, they do recommend that when you are having your water to make sure it is filtered, and that will reduce your exposure of the chemicals. Here in Pittsburgh, Alexandra Todd, KDK-TV News.